Okay, I had a few people request how I'm actually using Evernote, and this little tutorial should help you out um, quite a bit. Now, I use Evernote for just about everything. I have all of my favorite links in uh, different places on here. Uh, I kind of run like an affiliate program as well. And uh, so I've got my affiliate links that I share with people when they want to uh, sign up with Distress Pro or something. Uh, I've got my Distress Pro link in here and uh, very handy to keep everything in place. But what we're going to be going over right now is my bank contact info. You can see here <clears throat> I've created a header called bank contact info. Below that, I started with a thing called one utilities. I put a number one and then utilities because Evernote works in alphabetical order. So if I put a one there, it'll keep it on top. Any type of utilities that I'm using, I keep that up on top. So in this case, I have a blank dashboard template. So let me show you that first. What this is, is an actual note, a new note that I've created. I'll show you how to do this in a second. So I've got a non-accrual seconds balance. This is information that I've pulled from Distress Pro. Um, so just an example, let's say they've got 109 uh, million of um, non-accrual. I'll just put that in there so that I know that I'm working with a pretty big bank. Then I hit enter a couple of times and then I put in main phone numbers. And then these are just lines that you add in. Uh, I'll show you how to do that right now. I can hit enter and add a new line with this box right here, insert rule, they call it. And it just throws a, a, another line in there. Uh, very handy to keep my stuff separated. Uh, and you can you can put an unlimited number of lines in here to just put contact information. This little blurb here is a note that I put into um, LinkedIn when I'm trying to connect with a banker. Works very well. I'm getting like a 40 or 50 percent connect ratio. This link right here that I give to the person that I'm trying to connect with on LinkedIn will actually go right to a scheduling software. Uh, that will be, I will include that with this uh, memo that goes out. What that does is invites the banker to a four minute conversation with me on the phone. He can schedule a time with me and we can get together Tuesday at two o'clock to talk about uh, his non-performing assets. Then I've got a bunch of contact lines here. So what I do is I, I put this little header into every one of my bank's uh, dashboard so that I can just grab it and put it into LinkedIn. I'll show you more about that in a, in a minute here. Uh, I just wanted to show you how I create a new note and then I save that into my utilities page right here. And then you can see that um, these are all the banks <clears throat> that I intend on contacting. You can see that I've made notes on maybe 20 of these so far, and I made it up into the C's, uh, Commercial Bank and Trust Company. I've got a note in there. But Commercial Banking Company does not have any note in there yet. So what I can do is go back up to my template, which is in utilities, and I can copy it, and I can send it to, let's say um, the bank that I wanna do is Commercial Banking Company. I'm gonna put it in there. So I find Commercial Banking Company, and I click there, and I go copy, and now, I have a copy of that dashboard template in my commercial banking company. And here it is right here. 
So then what I can do is go to LinkedIn. <clears throat> and search for commercial banking company. And here it is right here. I can go ahead and click on people. And I can see 766,000 results, which is an awful lot of results. Uh, these are all people that work at commercial um, banking company. And I can go back into Evernote. Grab this little blurb right here from my template inside of commercial banking company. Hit control C, copy that. And then I can go through and read all of the different positions that these people hold. Senior VP banking company at the Middlefield Banking Company. I see that I've got a couple of shared uh, connectors connections already. Looks like Brady and Deepta are way ahead of me. And I hit connect, add a note, I hit control V and just change the name. I put the name in here of Craig. I can put in here um, maybe a happy new year. and hit send. And now I know that I have an invitation that's been sent to Craig Re Re Ray. Uh, I can go into Evernote. I can actually copy this guy's contact info here. Hit control C and put in here, control V. Um, and then I can put a note here. Hit sent uh, invite to connect. And then I get an email uh, that, hey, this guy is willing to connect with me. Uh, these, all these bank names actually had to be typed in manually or, or control uh, copy and pasted in as new notes for a new bank. Very simple. Uh, just if I want to add another bank, I would just come up to the top here. Uh, right click and go create notebook and bank contact info. And then I would call this uh, community bank or bank bank of the world and hit OK. And now there it is bank of the world. Just keep populating this. You only have to do that once. And now you can keep track of your connections. Uh, very simple. Uh, I think I've got, I don't know, maybe 150 banks that I'm trying to connect with. Uh, I'm going to actually get rid of this. And uh, very simply, that's how I connect. Uh, all the people that I have tried to connect with on LinkedIn I make a note of that. I can actually do follow-ups. Um, so let's let's go back to um, commercial banking company, right? I just tried to connect with uh, the senior VP. <clears throat> let's say this guy connects with me and he says, hey, let's talk uh, Tuesday at two o'clock. And he doesn't use my scheduling software that scheduling software actually automatically writes directly into my Google calendar that, hey, you've got an appointment Tuesday at 2 p.m. with Craig. <clears throat> but in this case, let's say he sends me a 
LinkedIn message and says, hey, let's talk Tuesday at 2 p.m. Well, I can go up here to the top and set reminder and I add a date. So that would be uh, Tuesday the 19th, 2 p.m., January 19th, 2 p.m., and just hit enter. <clears throat> what that does is it actually automatically creates a reminder inside of Evernote, and it sets my Google Calendar through a third-party app uh, called, um, I'll, I'll make another video about that, connecting this to a third app, which actually writes directly into my Google Calendar. That's essentially it. I, you know, it's it's short and sweet. Uh, it's an easy way to keep track of stuff. I'm sure that you guys can come up with more elaborate ways of connecting. Uh, it is a little time consuming to go back and forth between here and LinkedIn. I found that this seems to be the best way to connect with people uh, because it's non intrusive. It respects their time. It respects my time by having this uh, calendar link in there. <clears throat> it shows that, hey, you know what? I'm not just going to cold call you or cold email you. Um, this actually gives you uh, a, a little bit more, uh, shows a little bit more respect for the individual you're trying to connect with. And uh, so I advise everyone to build up their LinkedIn account. Uh, I don't know how many people I have connected with. I've, I've been messing around with LinkedIn for quite a few years now. And uh, I like it. Seems to work. Uh, I've looked back over the years of all the connections that I've made through my note sourcing for the brokering that I've done. And just about every one of them has come from LinkedIn, uh, not really realizing it. So let's see, I've got notifications here. Um, now I, I do have a paid account. I think I pay like 50 or 60 bucks a month for this, but I can see who's viewing my profile and, um, I can send uh, a thing called InMail, which is very cool. Uh, okay, so this guy, here's a guy from yesterday. He connected with me. And um, I did get an email that he is now a first uh, direct connection. And he's a special assets coordinator at Arvest Bank. Uh, I sent him this little thing that I just showed you guys and he connected with me 16 hours ago so it works <laughs> it, it works fantastic uh, whether or not I have shared connections with other people um, the other thing that I do with LinkedIn uh, actually my son has came up with this idea if I go to my home page you can see here that I have um, a group called Note Investment Capital Wealth. And this is a group that my son started. It has 87 members. And I can go ahead and invite every connection that I have. Uh, I don't know how many connections I have. That is in here somewhere. But I can go ahead and invite as many people in here as possible. And then when I do make a post, every person that is in a group will, if they've turned their messages on, get an email saying, hey, there's a new post in Note Investment Capital Wealth. That is something that I am going to take advantage of this year. I think that's huge to be able to directly connect with people. Uh, so I've got 1,700 connections, and I've got 60 people that are trying to be friends with me or connect with me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm done with Facebook. Uh, I've had enough of that. So this is where I'm going to be spending all my time. And uh, I've got 60 people trying to connect with me. So that would take me up well over 1,750 
connections once I accept them. And when I do accept them, uh, my son made a message about what it is that we do when we connect and hey, come on in and uh, thanks for connecting and go ahead and join my, my group, the Note Capital Wealth group. So there's a ton of ways to do things that we just found to be uh, very helpful, useful. I know it's not mainstream. I know a lot of people are not doing the things that we do. Uh, I think that's why it works. Uh, so another, another trick that we do is if you look at my homepage, I don't want to look at that guy. Uh, if you if you actually look at my profile, you'll see that I call myself a vice president asset acquisitions at Point Property LLC. So I'm a vice president, which makes me a small cog in a big wheel, even though we're a very small company. Uh, when you're a vice president, you can connect with other vice presidents. That's probably who you're going to be talking with if you're trying to connect with a bank. Um you probably be talking with, uh, you may talk with the president, with the president and CEO of, of the bank, and he's used to talking to vice presidents, so he can talk down to me if he wants. Uh, instead of us being equals, he can actually um, speak down to me, I guess, is, is my, my thought process by making myself a lower rung in the <laughs> uh, job arena. Uh, I'm a vice president, asset acquisitions, and um, I think that I think that helps. By by, everyone is trying to be as high up as they can be, and I'm knocking myself down uh, a couple of notches. So that's uh, pretty much how I'm I'm using uh, LinkedIn and Evernote to contact banks. Now the list of banks that I have in Evernote was uh, taken from uh, Distress Pro. I, I know that they have the assets I'm looking for, but you can connect with every bank in the country. Uh, there's, there's no reason why not. Um, just banks have bad assets, and the more banks you connect with, the more banks are willing to connect with you because it looks like you're in the field and even if you're connecting with banks that don't have non-performing uh, commercial loans that you're looking for, you're connected to a bank that it doesn't hurt. Uh, it, it just looks like you're connected with a lot of banks. And people are looking at your profile. They're looking at who you're connected with. And, uh, and I think that that goes a long way. So have fun with this. Uh, use Evernote. Evernote is free until you get to a certain point of data that you're uh, collecting. I've got all of my loans, all of my notes in here as well. Uh, I have the paid version. I think it's called premium. And I think it's like maybe 60 bucks a year or something. Uh, unlimited data. I use this. I keep track of my rentals. I keep track of my partnerships that I have with other people. And uh, <clears throat> obviously I keep my notes in here, I can, I can create unlimited amounts of notes per contact. So a borrower is a contact, a bank is a contact. Let's say Alliance Bank and Trust Company sends me two spreadsheets. Well, I can just load them into here by, click, by clicking on new note and then attach and then taking that tape and pulling, them, pulling that tape in here and uh, away we go. I've got that. Let's just go ahead and attach something here. So let's say the bank sent me uh, this document, a Philadelphia tra transfer tax form. Or let's say they sent me a um, confidentiality agreement. So this new note is now inside of my Alliance Bank. Uh, here it is, Alliance Bank and Trust Company. I've got a transfer document that they sent over to me that they want me to fill out or a confidentiality agreement that they want me to fill out. 
I can just populate unlimited amounts of notes in here by just clicking on new note attachment and then bringing in that attachment. Or I can, <clears throat> excuse me, just fill in here any type of uh, text that, that needs to be, uh, I could put in here, hey, you know, contact this bank again next week. Anything that um, I want. Very simple. Can't make a mistake. Put something in there and the wrong thing, just hit delete and it goes away. Um, that's essentially it. All right. Have fun with this.